Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with 2017-18 Panini Donruss uh, Basketball. Fast break edition. Ten box, half case, pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. The second half is already down to like five. So we might be able to go back to back on this. All right, so on a Thursday, thanks for joining us. Darji, Last Spot Mojo, and Laker Joe Mojo. All right, so let's see which half we're going to do. William says, I have finan we're watching Clippers at Portland right now. I've, got, I've made a financial investment into the Los Angeles Clippers for tonight. This is Donner's Optic Basketball, right? Fast break. All right. Um, William saying he, he doesn't think that's going to work out for me. Plus five and a half? It's a decent amount of points for a team that's been playing well. I didn't say they're going to win outright. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right here, so ten on the left side, ten on the right side. We'll roll the die. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's three. So we'll be doing the left side right here. This side will save for probably a little bit later tonight. I think we're already down to five in the in this uh, this break, which would be break four. So that side will be break number four. We'll be doing break number three right now. All right, so there's nine and ten right here. Just as a reminder, one autograph per box on average, and we're looking for a bunch of parallels too. And there's, a, I think, I think the difference is, I guess this is. Retail instead of hobby, I believe, and I think uh, there's just different kinds of rookie parallels here. I think the price is a little bit friendlier than regular Donner's Optic Basketball. All right, good luck, everyone. This break should take about, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes or so, and then we'll be ready for another one shortly after that. All right, so other games I have financial interest in. Let's get some basketball scores up too. So we'll be there'll be a lot, lot of opportunities to t uh, to chit chat about hoops in this break. We don't get to talk basketball very often. All right, so I've got I got Houston minus four and a half at uh, at Oklahoma City, which I did not win because I thought. No Russell Westbrook. Rockets got this, right? No, that that was that was a fail. I'm feeling pretty good about Phoenix plus nine and a half. They're hosting the Celtics. Suns are up 75 to 58. So even if they lose a close one, I'll still win. They'll get plus nine and a half. And then I have um, I have the Clippers as we discussed. The Clippers minus or Clippers plus five and a half. So we'll see what happens. Still very early in the game for the uh, for the Clippers at Portland. Trailblazers probably will win. There you go, Joe P. Joe P. says, "Go Suns." Joe P. I took your Suns plus nine and a half. I look like a genius right now. So sort of some sort of basketball sharp. Do we kind of like William? Do we like these uh, these Portland jerseys that we have here? Now, Joe P. I, if I was if I was even smarter, Joe P. And if the Suns end up winning this game, I should have just taken the money line. They were like plus three fifty or something like that. <laughs> William, do we kind of like the 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 black strip that comes across the Trailblazers jerseys here? I kind of do. Kind of like Ben Simmons.
All right, we got Giannis Antetokounmpo out of 50. We got Joe Johnson. No, William doesn't like it. He's saying dislike the Nike. I kind of like, I'm, I'm, I'm an Adidas man myself. There's the rookies, Lonzo Ball. Dwayne Bacon. Yeah, Joe Johnson's still still out there. I don't I don't remember last year's Trailblazers alternate. What's going on with this guy? I feel like both both sides have screwed. Oh, it was red on red. That's not good. I feel like both sides screwed up the situation. I feel like the Timberwolves should have moved him a long time ago. And then now he looks he's he looks bad because he's like sitting out games and whatnot whenever he wants to. All right, there's Devin Reed out of one ninety three. But isn't Oregon all about all about the Nike though? They love Phil. There's Jared Allen out of one fifty five. All right, behind Tyler Dorsey is Nate Thurman. Fast break signatures for the Warriors. Warriors come out to play. That'll be for Elvis and Golden State. One out of ten, Elvis. All right, William saying Thibodeau, as like, as like coach and GM, right? For the Timberwolves, yeah, they gotta they gotta fix that situation. They 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 just have to move Jimmy Butler. You're welcome, Elvis. They just got to move Jimmy Butler. I, th I think that's just it's just a bad look for the team. It's bad branding. It's bad everything. It's a bad example for the kids on that team, the younger players on that team. Hey, if Jimmy Butler holds out and he gets what he, you know, you gotta you gotta not have that culture of that sitting there. Especially with the Timberwolves seemingly on the cusp of, you know, building a a, a playoff team that could be in, in the playoffs consistently. That's true, yeah. My friend told me that recently. She was like, yeah, well, Adidas is in, or in Oregon, too. They've got a, head, a, a West Coast office there or something like that. But she's from Portland, and she has a lot of, she has a lot of Nike gear. A lot. Not a, not a single piece of Adidas, though. The Nike kind of, there's nothing wrong with that. I have no problem with Nike at all. I like Nike, but but uh, I like um, I don't know. I just I just like Adidas a little bit better in terms of their their design aesthetic in professional jerseys. Like a lot of Nike has been getting into uh, into English Premier League soccer, which has been a lot of you know Puma and Adidas, obviously. Umbro brands like that, but Nike has kind of released some bland uniforms, bland jerseys in English Premier League. Now these rated rookies will ship, but we'll t we'll top load the ones that are refractors. Those are the those are the more short, shorter printed ones. Lonzo Ball, last spot mojo, Laker Joe mojo for Darji. Nice. Willie Colley Stein to 150. And Markel Fultz. We'll save that's not numbered, but we'll save one of those short prints or parallels that is.
Darcy, you're welcome. Hey, thanks for thanks for being bold enough to grab the Lakers last spot mojo. Scared money don't make money. I've got I've got high hopes for Lonzo Ball. I feel like I feel like he can be I think Rajon Rondo being on that Lakers team. A nice low number Dennis Smith Jr. for Dallas Mavericks. Paul Nixon with that one. Um I think having Rajon Rondo is, is, is good for Lonzo Ball in terms of kind of teaching him a little toughness, I guess. And I think I think Lonzo Ball is far more of a a Rondo type player than he would be, you know, this kind of guard. You know what I mean? In my opinion. And I think, uh, I think he's been, I think he's been uh, connecting with Le uh, LeBron James pretty well early on in the season. So that, I, I know a lot, a lot of local, uh, I think a lot of local sports talk radio guys will tell you that hey, this is basically on an audition for who's going to be here or not here next season with LeBron. It allows Lonzo not to play. Is that what you're saying, William? Yeah, it, it was it was cool. That I, I think a lot of Lakers fans, including myself, thought that it was a foregone conclusion that he'd come to L.A., but it didn't happen. What was odd, though, and I think Brian Windhorst has reported this, what was odd is that it was the, the, not that he went back to OKC, but the type of contract he signed with OKC. I think there's something weird with the, with, with the NBA contract rules and whatnot that says that if he signed this sort of contract, it would have still yielded him more money later on with or without OKC. I don't know. It was just like a, it was a weird contract. All right, next box. Good luck. There's Malik Monk. Another Josh Jackson. Chris Paul. Kind of wish we kept Julius Randle. We just saw his card flash by there. Reggie Jackson. Damari Carroll to 85. Need <laughs> a body Bobby Bonilla type contract. Just sounds like a hassle that Bobby Bonilla contract. Can you imagine like the? I'm sure there's been like different accounting teams working on the Mets account, right? Don't forget the million dollars for Bonilla. All right, we got to put that on the books. And Tyler Lydon is your autograph. Fast break auto for the Denver Nuggets. Who's got the Nuggets? That'll be for Logan. There you go, Logan. Siakam out of 50. And Doug McDermott. You know what? I'm going to set these aside here. We'll sleeve and top load those a little bit later, just in the interest of time. I'm going to try to have time to squeeze in the necessary breaks we need to, or help sell out the necessary breaks we need to un unlock that Thursday Night Football break credit.
Let me know if the Panthers are end, end up making a, some sort of comeback. Let me switch back to that game. William, what do we got in the, 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 the halftime show? I wish I had NBA Game Pass. I think they actually show the halftime shows. What do we got halftime show for, for Portland tonight? I don't know, Logan. If for the hobby's asking, is there a way that Mets could get out of that contract? I have no idea. I suppose they could, they could renegotiate. I mean, in this day and age, a million dollars. I mean, they 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 sign high school kids signing bonuses for a million dollars, right? Who may never even see Major League Baseball. So, <laughs> so. I mean, I I don't think it's really that much of a, you know, a a crimp on their wallet. I, I suppose they could talk to Bobby Boney and try to renegotiate, but why, I don't think he would ever give it up. <laughs> um, or I, I suppose they can buy him out, right? They can just be like, hey, listen, how about how about you take, you know, how about we just lump sum it for you? Just so we can, you know, we'll, we'll lump sum it for you for like 80 cents on the dollar or something like that. And you know, do us that deal. We'll just lump sum it for you, and we'll, you know, we'll call it a day. John Collins, Jerry Bennington with the Atlanta Hawks. But if I'm Bonilla, I'm just like, sweet. Whatever he, I don't know what he's doing now. Post, post uh, MLB career, but that that's got to be a nice little yearly bonus <laughs> for whatever he does. What is Bobby? What is Bobby Bonilla doing? What's Bobby Bonilla doing? Someone look that up. Sorry, I know we're talking a little baseball in the middle of a basketball break, but I don't know. Sometimes curiosity overrules making sure the break has a nice theme. <laughs> Markeith Morris, one ninety nine. Mmm, bacon. There's Joe Johnson. Are we just talking about Joe Johnson? Joe Johnson's at 20. The lower number one, 20, 25 and unders. We usually sleeve up and top load right away. Utah Jazz, David S. DeLon Wright back there. All right. Next box. Whoa. Clippers versus Bucks. A puzzle cube. It's basically a Rubik's Cube with, with Clippers logos on there. And the kids are going to love those puzzle cubes. Some kids love puzzle cubes. Good job, Clippers, with that promo. <laughs> Clippers promo for against the Milwaukee Bucks. They're giving away to the kids a Rubik's Cube. Do, do kids like Rubik's Cubes these days? Is that making a comeback? I feel like it's a weird promo item. Clippers are within within two. Within two of the Trailblazers now. And Celtics, man, eight eight almost uh, just a little under nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. Sun still leading 84-73 on the Celtics. Is this uh are we seeing the Suns revival right now? I think we may be seeing the revival of the Suns as we speak. Kyrie has 23 points. Jason Tatum has zero points in 18 minutes. Gordon Hayward doesn't look that great this season. Five. Man. 
What's going on? So TJ Warren doing work for the Suns. He's got 23 points on the night. 23, 7, and 1. DeAndre Aiden, 14 points, 9 rebounds. He's on his way to a double-double and an assist. Devin Booker doing his 19 points, 9 assists as well. Trevor Ariza with 11 points. 5 rebounds, 4 assists. Ariza was a good pickup. All right, there's Carmelo. Lori Markinen. Those are not numbered, but it's just a different parallel. Elvis is like, hey, speaking of Celtics, let's see it. Let's see a Jason Tatum autograph. You don't want Jason. He's doing nothing tonight. He's doing nothing. Nothing, Elvis. Now it's gonna be mm, delicious Dwayne Bacon. I hope he has a local a local bacon sponsorship back in Charlotte. Uh, that'll go to David Shaw and the Hornets. Yeah, can you believe that, Elvis? 18 minutes, 0 for 5 in the field, no three-pointers, no free-throw attempts, nothing. Two rebounds, zero points. That's it. Downtown where? These people look like they're having fun at a casino. Oh. Palm Springs Spa Resort Casino, apparently. Yeah, does anyone have any thoughts on what uh, Jason, Jason's uh, one of one Cubs triple auto Bryant Sandberg Rizzo is worth? I mean, probably worth more if we pulled it for you, Jason. Probably 15, 20% more with a train whistle. I, I got you a three of three out of, how about that? Did you watch the video, Jason? I got you a three out of three triple, no ink though. <laughs> three out of three triple relic. Got a train whistle there. I don't know, that's gotta be worth a lot though. Uh, I think maybe if it was Chris Bryant's rookie year, Yeah, some nice relics in there, though. Um, I don't know. It's been a good night for you, though. Um, does anyone want to venture a guess on that? One of one from Triple Threads. One of one Cubs Triple Auto. Is there any... I mean, maybe someone has like an out of five or an out of ten listed on eBay somewhere. I would say $500. That's my guess. Well, thankfully, you've been pulling some nice stuff. You know what? Look at like, look up on eBay, Jason, maybe like last year, like 2017, may yield some more results. 2017 Triple Threads Baseball and find like a just. A Cubs one, even if it's not the same players, that might kind of get you, give you a general idea. All right, next box, folks. Jokic. Autograph is a fox in the box. De'Aaron Fox, rated rookie autograph for D Mac and the Kings. I think sometimes those triple autos are, are like a blessing and a curse. 
it's a blessing, obviously, because it's a one of one. They look nice, you know, some great players on there. But there may be some people who are like, I only want, I only collect Chris Bryant, so I don't want the other guys. <coughs> so that might keep them away from, from, you know, investing a lot in that triple autograph. Oh, I like, you know, I, I like, uh, I like Rizzo and Bryant, but you know maybe maybe the kids these days aren't into Ryan Sandberg being in the middle right there. You know they would have hoped it was Kyle Schwarber or something like that. So that might affect value a little bit. So I don't know. Does anyone anyone have any thoughts on it? No one's piping in, piping up, piping in. I don't know. If, if you remind me again after this break is over, I'll, I'll take a second to look it up. I'm curious now, too. Or maybe look up just other Triple Relic one-of-ones. Triple Relic, Triple Auto one-of-ones. For di just different teams and see what they're selling for in general. But in my head... I want to say, but it's a one of one. Yeah, five hundred ish. I feel like maybe more. Somewhere in the thousands. Hmm. Brandon's looked. Thanks, Brandon. He's, there's there's one on one out of twenty seven on eBay. Eighty eight bucks, five bids. Maybe keep an eye on that. See how that ends up. Next box. Frank Jackson for the Pels out of 193. 48 out of 155, Paul Millsap. Where's the auto? Oh, there it is. Behind Steph Curry is Dylan Brooks. Rated rookie autograph. 10 out of 20 for the Grizz. That goes to John Alfies and the Memphis Grizzlies. The Hawk is such a great autograph. That's a nice one. Sell one, keep one. That's what I would do. DeLon Wright to 85. All right, three boxes to go. I actually need to put, make a little room for myself here. Three boxes go, and I'm pretty sure the other one is very close to being sold out, so. Keep that in mind. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.
Somehow I have, a, I have a larger break table, but somehow less space. I don't know how that happens, but it somehow happened. All right. Wow, and a graded out of 10? Out of 27, someone's listing it at 2,500. Grading is tough, though. That Graded out of 10? How did that person get something graded that quickly? Um, that's a tough part. Yeah, sometimes the you'll have to you'll have to look at it when you when you eventually get it. But yeah, you have to keep an eye on the if you take a closer look at the corners and the edges. Sometimes those thick cards can be harder to harder to get a nicer grade. All right, three autographs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Three boxes to go. There's George Hill to 50. Kings. This Wiener Schistel commercial is intense. And behind Frank Jackson is Derek White. Fast break auto for the Spurs. That'll be for Alan Murdoch. There's Etwan Moore to 155. Reggie Miller. Isaiah Thomas, Cavs edition. All right, two boxes to go. Four teams left in the second half of this case, ladies and gentlemen. That would make it our sixth break of the night, which unlocks our Thursday Night Football promo on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Details are there. And then we can do four, if we do four more breaks, two Fanatics authentic jersey breaks and two flawless basketball breaks, then that would be ten breaks on the night, and we that would unlock another hundred bucks of break credit to be added to that very promo. We need to do a minimum of at least six, though. We gotta do one more after this break, and then we'll be there. So let's help finish off those breaks. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'm gonna try to make some more magic happen, ladies and gentlemen. All right, good luck, boys and girls.
DeMar DeRozan to 155. And behind Ojale is for the Rockets, Zhu Ki for Houston. That'll be for Paul Nixon. Believe it or not, this guy sells pretty well on a secondary market, even though I don't think we've seen a lot of minutes from this guy. All right, Harrison Barnes, 85. Al Fru Camino out of 193. And Dwight Howard. All right, last box coming up. William has the report on the, the Portland Trailblazers at halftime show. Local dance squad, I see. So young girls through through high school doing a dance. Hmm, is it a good dance? Those could be those could be uh, questionable sometimes. Not not too bad, says William. Okay. Wait, is it like is it like you know an elementary group doing one? Is it, or this is like a whole big big uh, crew of dancers? Is this competitive dance? be i wonder i wonder if that's like a i don't know i guess in my head it would be a fun job but it's probably not to book you know to book all of those weird halftime shows it's like i mean where do they come up with these people it's like oh let's get the guy that 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 spins 20 plates on 20 poles or something like that let's get that guy you know let's get the yeah let's get the local dance troops out here All right, I got you. All right. Yeah, so I mean, they're like, "Oh, let's get the let's get the local a cappella group to come out and do some songs." You know, let's get uh let's get let's get high flying dogs out here to go chase after after frisbees and whatnot. I would get those uh what's that what's that sport in uh that recreational sport in Spain? Where, where everyone climbs on top of each other to build like a, a massive pyramid, but it's all humans. There's like a base of humans and then they get on top of their shoulders and they create the next layer all the way to the top until they create like a pyramid. What is that? I would get those folks out there. Let's get a team of those guys or girls or whatever and create like some sort of huge, uh, huge pyramid. Oh, easy Cody West family show. Right, hashtag family show, right. Parents, you can send your angry emails to Cody West at, <laughs> at hotmail.com. And we've got Seti Osman for the Cavs. That'll be for Paul Nixon and the Cavaliers. And that's your last auto over the break, ladies and gentlemen. I, I hope that's not your actual email address, Cody West. Please don't put your personal information in the chat.
All right, and there you have it. No randomizers, nothing else to do. There we go, folks. That was pick your team number three of 2017-18. Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. The second one, let me refresh our homepage, jazbeescasebreaks.com, only has four teams left. We're four teams away from another break. Hornets. $14.99, Heat, $10.99, Jazz, $69.99, we haven't seen Donovan Mitchells yet, and the Washington Wizards, $9.99, that's it. Thanks, everyone. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.